A Gutenet of Shabbos, everyone. We're standing in the Shchedesh Elul, the second day of the Shchedesh Elul, which is actually the first day of Elul, and the Shabbos Pasha Shechtim, and we are ushering in the very, very special month and the very special preparation, an end of this year preparation for the coming year. As we're standing in the month of Elul, the first day of Elul, we know that we start saying the David Hashem Oedi, we already started saying the David Hashem Oedi today, our Hashem is our life and our salvation. And uh, we say that since Hashem is my life and my salvation, so we have no one to fear. And the end of the capital till emphasizes Kaviel Hashem, Chazak v'yamis libecha v'kaviel Hashem, a person is supposed to hope to Hashem, and then it repeats again that a person should he should be strengthened he should strengthen his heart and hope to Hashem again a double hope, which means that a person is as as our sages tell us that a person should continuously hope even if his hope didn't materialize the first time we should never give up on the contrary he should hope even more he should hope even deeper, he shouldn't he shouldn't uh, get frustrated and give up on the contrary he should try to pull even harder. And then a person knows that Abisha is with him, the David Hashem Eidi Vishi, the Abisha is giving him his light, his salvation. Hashem is right there. And even if he sinned, Hashem is Chaya, Hashem is the strength of my life, was supporting me, even if I failed physically or spiritually. So then a person will always be full of hope and be rejuvenated to do his avoida, to do his divine service in a much greater way. This is also the concept of the month of El, the king is in the field. King is in the field means that during the year, Hashem is always watching you, Hashem is always with a person, but usually we speak of Hashem watching a person in a way that is very intimidating. The Ebesh Tevine, Hashem, the Rebbe writes in Tanya, the also in the beginning of the Shulchan Aruch, that a person should meditate about the fact that Hashem is watching him, that will instill his fear in his heart, that will instill a sense of awe, of standing in the presence of the great king and every single Thing that he's doing is of meaning, it is nothing that a person can say, oh, it's meaningless. The Abish is watching what you're doing, everything that you're doing is of importance, how you're doing it, what you're doing, and if you mean it, you don't mean it. But throughout the year, we speak about the Abish there as a king who is, so to say, watching over you. And uh, it could be, sometimes it might even sound intimidating. In the month of Velo, the king is there, but the king is mekabalus kulam v'seiv v'panam yuaf v'samad v'panam sech v'es l'chulam. The king is making himself available. There's no red tape. There's no uh, intimidation. Obviously, a Jew on his own accepts upon himself the yoke of Hashem's kingdom. But from Hashem himself, he's putting himself in a situation where he's accessible. He's open. He's smiling to everyone. He's fulfilling everyone's requests. He's showing his great pleasure and how he's pleased that not only that people are coming to see him, but that he's pleased that these people are his, that the people of the country are his people. Which means that even if somebody, it's not, he's not only showing that his pleasure about the fact that someone came to him, but even someone that doesn't come to him, he shows by the fact that he greets everyone with such joy, shows that he's reflecting his inner desire, his inner connection with the people. And that evokes within the people the knowledge that they should connect themselves to the king, and therefore, even when the message obviously is that even in the case where a person thinks he's in the field or he's even lower than the field, but he knows that the king is with him. The Abish is David Hashem the Abish is always providing his light and his salvation, helping him in good times and, and in times when he needs extra light and extra salvation. And therefore, a person is full of hope, and he knows as the Pasuk says, Ki Avivinia Zavuni. Hashem Yasfein, that even if his father or mother, which Chassidus explains, refers to spiritual levels, it could be that according to his intellect, according to the things that he did, maybe he's not deserving of divine grace. But nevertheless, on the, on the month of Elul, there's the 13 attributes of mercy, which surpass intellect, which are believable, which are unlimited, which, which, which penetrate everywhere, and they're openly revealed in the month of Elul. And therefore, a person, the Ebeshter himself is always there for the person, even if the person thinks that spiritually he's, he's orphaned, so to say, that he doesn't have a uh, spiritual connection. But also in this week, the Shabbos Pasha, the week of Shoftim, which is a very powerful Pasha, it speaks a lot about authority, a king, a prophet, a koyen, a judge, a policeman, 
And the, the, the idea is that it's always important for us to know that we should have authority, we should always relate, we should always accept upon ourselves authority. It doesn't have to mean it's also the month of Elves, the king in the field, not maybe an intimidating uh, experience, but there's the fact that we're connecting to something higher than us. Now, in our, and in our Avodas Hashem, the Rebbe highlights, it's always important to know that there is a Rebbe, there is a figurehead, there's someone that could offer us guidance. Now, some people say, I like to have a, a direct line with the Abishta. If someone's answered, and maybe you have your direct line, but I don't know if you got too, too many answers through your direct line. But I go to the Rebbe to get guidance how I should serve Hashem and how. I need brachas for physical things, and usually that line that goes, that connects, that connects me to Hashem, usually I get my answers uh, very openly and quickly, and I see tangible results. So we have the, a concept that a person should always know that there's a Rebbe, there's a Shoifeit, there's a judge, there's somebody that, a prophet, that is able to see things from a totally different perspective. When a person has that attitude, so then he's able to connect himself better to the Eidushter. And the same thing is in a person's, person's own life, there's the concept of Asela Chadav, a person should bring his issues, his questions, his struggles to somebody that is, doesn't have to be the biggest genius in the world, nor even the greatest tzaddik, but somebody that is more sincere, somebody that has more avas Hashem, miras Hashem, more love and fear of Hashem, more than the person himself, and the person feels that that person is not mushukha, that person is not bribed to try to give him an answer that necessarily is, uh, you know, like there's no alter ulterior motives. The person will tell him the way he sees it. So then he should go to him, even for things that he might think are petty. Sometimes the person thinks I could do everything by myself. We know that many times in life, a person is sometimes embarrassed to deal with things. He says, I could take care of it by myself. And he ends up not doing anything about it. But if a person just is ready to reach out a little bit, maybe somebody could offer him a tip. Maybe somebody could give him some guidance. So then it might take a little bit of uh, bittle, of nullification. He has to accept that he doesn't know it all, that he's not able to fix it all by himself. But nevertheless, that will lead him on the road to true heights. And most particularly, Pasha Shaftim is one of those verses, Pasha's in the title, which openly alludes to the coming of Mashiach. As we had in today's Kumash, from Yachev, Hashem Malikachas Kabulcha, how when Mashiach will come, Hashem will expand the territory of Eretz Yisrael. So this explains that then we will serve Hashem not only based on our emotions, but our intellect will be permeated with the knowledge of Hashem. The extra three lands that will be added when Mashiach comes, Kemi Tinzi the Kadmoni, refer to the broadness of knowledge, of understanding that we will have when Mashiach will come. So as we enter the month of Elo, we're standing Shabbos, Pasha Shaftim, we have to keep in mind that Abish is with us, helping us, he's not here to intimidate us, he's there to help us. We should try to connect with our teachers, with our advisors, with those that could guide us. And most importantly, we should prepare for the coming of Mashiach, when then we'll have Melech B'yafi, Sefazana, Imenu, the king, will be revealed in the most open way, the king Mashiach, the Ebishter, also the king of the world. And um, we will then be able to truly experience Melech B'asad, the king is in the field, how the king will be open and accessible, as the Pasuk says, that the whole world will be able to, not only a person won't only have to, won't have to travel to the base of Mikdash to experience godliness throughout the whole world, Hashem's oneness will be revealed, even in the field, even in the most remote places, in the open way. We should merit experience a take of we had Mamash, have a good Shabbos, and a good Chaydash.